night. So, um, I don't know if everybody follows me on Instagram, but I came home the other day and my boyfriend had this great surprise for me and he had bought me a new camera, a microphone, a light ring. So I got this whole setup going on today. I'm really excited. Hopefully it'll make everything look a lot more professional. Um, anything that I use, uh, from here on out, I'm going to do an affiliate link for, so I'll put an affiliate link for the camera, the light ring, the microphone, a uh, golden diamond tester, and um, I use a loop to look at stuff, so I'm going to, um, there's a little chip in this table, sorry, I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, put a link for all of that stuff in, so if y'all decide that you need some of this stuff, to buy for yourself, please use that affiliate link. It helps me um, do these videos and make a little money off of it. So uh, please click those affiliate links if you're interested in any of the stuff that I'm using, um, either on the videos or to identify gold or silver or any of that stuff. So I actually just have a bag of stuff today and I'm gonna pull out what I've gotten. Um, this is for the month since the last time I did my video. So I think I did a July video. I'm just gonna start doing a video every month. Um, doing it once a week is a little bit too much and I think it's probably better for you to see everything kind of um, at once. So um, I also did a short video. I had gone to Hilton Head Island with my brother and I already showed the stuff that I got on that trip, so I'm not gonna show you that stuff again. I'm, I'm only gonna show it to you once. Um, and some of this stuff, I one of the thrift stores here in town, they actually have two locations, um, and I know them well enough that they will kind of let me pick through the jewelry as they're putting it out. They usually have a huge box of stuff. And some of the best stuff I got this month was from, from doing that. So make sure that when you go into the thrift store, you're always really nice to people. Um, and ask, you know, if they're putting any more jewelry out, um, if you can take a look at it. You know, if you buy a bunch of stuff, like the last thing they want is to put everything out and get it all on display and for you to buy all of it. So chat, ask with them, ask, ask them <laughs> when they're putting jewelry out because that's gonna also give you an, an idea of when a good time to go in is when they put it out and if they are gonna put anything out anytime soon, if they mind if you kind of pick through it because you're there, you know? So a couple of the things I got were because of that and I'll tell you when I get to them what all that stuff was. Oh, I so, got these earrings and this pendant. I think it's like amethyst and gold. The earrings are all marked 14 karat. Super pretty stuff. I just tied them all together because they're really small and they're a little tough to look at. Um, you know, I always talk, I always talk about how you should make sure to check out the necklace and the pendant, right? So this is one of those prime situation situations. The necklace is nonsense, but the pendant is beautiful. And that pendant happens to be marked on the back. I'll zoom in here for you. Ooh, I'm not sure how close I can get. The pendant is marked on the back and the Necklace was marked, but you could tell, I think it was marked Korea or something. So always make sure when you find a pendant, uh, find a necklace, you look at the pendant and vice versa. So this is the opposite of that, right? So the pendant, as you can tell, is nonsense. It actually has a big chip here. It's glass. It's been painted a little bit of gold, but the necklace is a different story. And this necklace, I could actually see I could see the necklace, the mark, which is here, and that little thing right there. I could actually see the mark. I could see that that said 14 karat gold through the case. I didn't even have to go very far. And generally, if there is one of these little doodads on the side of your necklace, chances are it's gonna be gold. So make sure you take a look at it. Now, sometimes they're gold filled, I've had that happen before. But generally speaking, if there's that little doodad, then you probably have yourself a piece of gold. It was $6, which is really expensive for this broken pendant. I mean, come on, look at how broken that thing is. But I bought it anyway because I knew that the necklace is gold. Even though it's thin, it's totally worth it. I got this necklace and I'm going to take a, um, I'm going to do like a 
video that shows you everything kind of laying down so you see what it all looks like. So this one, the color was like kind of a high gold, so I wasn't 100% sure, but it's got a lobster claw clasp. You know I love a lobster claw clasp. And there, right there, I could see some writing, but I couldn't really read it. It turns out it's sterling silver. But it's still a really nice just little necklace, little necklace to have. This one. This one I got with a bunch of stuff. These are actual diamonds. They're real diamonds, so I checked it with my diamond tester. There are channel set diamonds down here and little round diamonds here. It's a really pretty, I actually have this one listed already on Etsy, so if you wanna check it out, I'll try to pull it back kind of far. Um, this one is so beautiful. It's all about that pendant, right? This one's also sterling silver. It's marked all over the place. It's marked on the back. It's marked on the clasp. Um, this guy is actually made in Italy, sterling silver made in Italy, and like I mentioned, those are real diamonds, so totally worth it on that one. Really, really beautiful necklace. Uh, this one here is uh, gold. It's this funky little, um, sorry, you're seeing every part of my skin here. This is, let me see if I can zoom out. It's this funky little box pattern, which I love. I love unusual necklaces. Oh, excuse me. And this one's marked on that clasp. Now, you know I like to feel for stuff and I kind of felt around, I could feel something. It just looked right, it was the right color. Um, and I took it home and it was marked 14 karat gold. Now, one of the tricks to these little um, clasps is sometimes they have writing on them and it's a lot of writing. So it'll say like, what seems like about six things. And if it's got a lot of writing on it, it probably says that it's gold filled, but if it's only got a little ridge of something that you can feel there, chances are it's probably 10 or 14 karat gold. I bought this bracelet here. It has a broken clasp, but each and every one of those flowers is marked on the back. Not sure if you can see it from there, but each and every one was marked. It's a really pretty, and I can fix a clasp pretty easily, so I went ahead and bought that one. This, I love these X's and hearts. I've had necklaces, this is a bracelet, it's so pretty. This is one of the things I got when I asked if they were putting some other jewelry out and if they would let me look in the stuff that they were putting out to see if I could find anything I wanted. I got like, um, six bracelets, almost everything was really good. It's marked here, and it's actually marked on the class too. Also kind of a lobster claw, oh no, it's totally a lobster claw clasp. You know, I like a lobster claw clasp. And on the little clasp there, it is also marked. This guy, it's like uh, dolphins, and these things, they kind of remind me of like little Pez things or something. But the color was really right, it just felt right. It looks like the right color, but this clasp is atrocious. I'm guessing that somebody replaced the clasp. It was also really cheap, it was a couple of dollars. So I took a chance on it and brought it home and tested it with my gold tester, and sure enough, it turns out it is 10 karat gold. And the longer you're picking this stuff up, sort of the easier it is to find this stuff that you think might be really good. Um, the color starts really catching your eye, uh, and then you can bring it home with your gold tester. And again, I'll put an affiliate link up um, for the gold tester, so uh, you can purchase one if you want to. This guy here is also broken. There were no, there was a mark on it, but I couldn't really figure out what it said because it doesn't really say anything. I think it's an infinity symbol. And it's a little twisted, but I will put a clasp on that. That um, test for 14 karat gold, that guy there. Um, I got a bunch of this stuff all in one place. Uh, this one is sterling silver. The mark is on the back here, 925. I'd imagine those are cubic zirconias. This is awesome. I love this bracelet. It's made in Turkey. I was surprised it was made in Turkey. I thought for sure when I put my hands on it that it was gonna be made in Mexico. Sorry, I'm trying to get this around to you so you can see it, but there's that mark. Beautiful bracelet, nice and chunky, real thick. I just love it. Another gold. I got in that bunch of stuff that they let me look at. I'm gonna try to bring it back so you can see that one's a bracelet. Again, my friend, the lobster claw clasp. As you can see, that one's also broken. I'm gonna have to replace it. Um, but it was marked here on the end. I'm not sure it's gonna zoom in for you on that one, but um, <clears throat> really nice, really nice, really nice. Okay, 
Marcasite. If you've watched my Sterling Silver video, you know what I think about Marcasite. Check that Marcasite out. Knew that it had to be Sterling Silver because it had Marcasite on it. And they were lucky enough to put marks all over. Well, I was lucky enough. I was lucky enough they put marks all over it. This clasp for a bracelet too, by the way, is a really good indicator that it's something good. They're not gonna put a clasp that has all these bells and whistles on it too often for something that's just complete garbage. So if you see a clasp that has like all these snaps and buttons and doodads to keep it on you, it's a, it's a good um, indicator that it might actually be something good. Uh, sterling silver earrings. I think they're cubic zirconias. These guys were made in China, but really pretty. I picked everything up pretty cheap. So um, I just went ahead and bought a bunch of, of, of them. These are just gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. I can't believe somebody gave them away. They're so gorgeous. They are like pearls, and I don't know if they're cubic zirconias or diamonds. I haven't tested them yet. They're also sterling silver. They're just so pretty and dainty and delicate. I just, I loved them. They're marked on the stem. Also, I rubbed my finger on there. I could feel that there was something marked on it, um, and it was good. Now, these guys, look at the two backs that they put on there. One is gold and one is silver. It also had a little mark on it. And um, I rubbed my finger on there and I could feel that it was marks. And then when I got them home, I realized they were sterling silver, which is perfect. These, I just think they're stunning. It's a drop earring. They are also sterling silver. There's a little pearl uh, on those guys. Mark again is on the back right here. Just super beautiful. I got a bunch of sterling silver. I got some gold too, but I really got quite a lot of sterling silver. Now these, talk about weird um, posts. They're just, sometimes the, po the stem posts are marked, uh, not the posts, the backs. Sometimes the backs are marked and sometimes the backs are the only place that's, that a necklace, uh, excuse me, that a pair of earrings are marked. Um, sometimes they just put whatever nonsense they have in a box on the back of some earrings because the earrings don't have a back. And that is what they did in this case. So one is silicone and one is stainless steel. And I looked at them, they're kind of thin. They're a really pretty gold tone. A kind of thin gold tone, chances are it's either gonna be gold filled or it's gonna actually be gold. Um, that way it's a little bit more affordable for people that don't have a ton of money, uh, especially when gold is at high. Again, I took the backs off. I felt the stem and the stem had a mark on it and I got them home and they said 14 karat gold. So those are really pretty. Uh, these are just gorgeous. I mean, just, I love them. Big, beautiful earrings. They have a mark. Only one of them does. So I had to look at both of them to see the mark. Oh, there we go. Nope, both of them have marks. I lied to you. <laughs> so the mark is kind of down here, but if you see an earring, that has one of these backs. Again, it's like with the bracelets. If they're trying to keep them on you this much, it might be because they're worth some money. So it's got this little snappy thing on there. So in addition to having it in your ear, you don't have a back on it. Chances are that's not gonna fall out. Those are 14 karat gold. Real pretty 14 karat gold earrings. They're just gorgeous. All right. What else do I have? I got two pairs, <laughs> getting a lot of my flesh in this video, two pairs of amber earrings. Um, these are like a yellow or a honey amber. And I got these, which are a greener amber. You know, people love amber. If you see amber, pick it up. Chances are, if it's real amber, and you know, that's another story, but chances are, if it's amber, it's gonna be in sterling silver. So look around if you see it, it looks like amber. Look around and see if you can see the mark. Look how cool the side of that is. I've never seen one of these kind of um, hooks with that funky little spot there for it to be hanging in. That's a really nice earring right there. Uh, I got some more bracelets. This guy is sterling silver. It's kind of a filigree. This guy is also sterling silver. But I can see these little chips in there <clears throat> and they're little chips and then they've kind of made them look like bigger chips. That's usually a good indication that something is a diamond. 
uh, if it's really small and they're trying to make it look bigger with the metal uh, the it's again it's sterling silver it was made in China but when I pulled out my diamond tester all those little chips tested as diamonds so that's a really nice um, check out the way you get your hand in this into this guy too. Like I thought that was such a great um, feature there. So it would be nice and tight on you, but not tight to get on. Well, impossible to get on with that tiny little space there. This guy is beautiful. Now, I thought it was nice. I figured it was probably sterling silver. Again, right here, one of those indicators that you might have a nice piece of jewelry. They're not gonna waste their time putting one of these on, you know, like a protector there so, so your bracelet doesn't fall off if the bracelet is nothing. I couldn't find a mark. The girl um, who showed it to me at the thrift store was kind of obsessed with it. She thought for sure there was a mark too. So did I, we thought it was a good bracelet. Um, and the mark ended up being like in here. Crazy, it was a bit of a surprise where the mark was on that one. All right, I am just gonna put all these rings on because it's just easier. I got a bunch of rings. Some of them are marked, some of them aren't marked. Um, mostly they're sterling silver. They're from all over the place. A couple of them are Chinese. They were really, really cheap. Um, for the price, I just could not buy them. I don't know who donated all this stuff, but somebody donated all this stuff. I'm still putting them on. I'm still putting them on, right? I'm still, I'm still putting them on. I hate to reiterate it, but this is still happening. So ring after ring after ring, another ring. I mean, just look at all these fabulous rings. Now some of them are a little unnatural looking like this guy. That color is not the most natural looking color. It almost looks like a fire opal. I don't think that one had any marks on it, but I'm certainly going to take some time to really look at all of them. That one's really pretty. That one didn't have a mark on it at all. That one's Native American. I got all these at the same thrift store. That one's sterling silver. That one's marked. Um, has our most of these and then these are just I mean they're just so pretty who can resist this stuff and they were all two dollars each so it was well worth it that was a very expensive oh there's one on my thumb that guy that guy's really cool too that one doesn't have a mark on it either but look at that stone it looks like it would glow in the dark fantastic all right Another pair of earrings. Here we go. These are little pearls and gold. They're marked on the edge here. I could see that something was marked there. Did you see I'm still wearing my rings? Marked on the edge there. Um, I have this ring. This ring has some gold around the rim around the edge there, it was marked sterling and 14 karat gold. It's got a maker's mark MB. I think it might be Marjorie Bauer, but I'm not 100% sure that one's really cool. So as you can tell, I got a bunch of stuff this month. Okay, here is a video of all this stuff, just in case um, me kind of zooming into everything, didn't quite get it. So those are those earrings I was talking about. The napkin ring, all those rings. Let's see if it'll... So many rings are all so pretty. Those are the bracelets. That's the cubic zirconia one. these bracelets I just got so much stuff I had a really great month not all months are like this all these necklaces there's that pendant let me see if I can the chip on it I was telling you about with the diamonds those are those earrings the pendant that's that little Pendant on the ring that on the chain that is not gold. Sorry. 
see if I can get a better angle on that. I don't know why I won't. There we go. Anyway, there is everything. Thanks again for checking me out. I'm not sure when I'm going to interject this one somewhere in here. Two more things that you kind of didn't end up seeing in that last thing. I got this um, napkin ring. It's a really nice looking napkin ring. I'll, again, I'll try to get close, but I was having some zooming issues before. So napkin ring here. On the inside, it had an inscription. It was 50 cents. On the inside, it had an ins inscription. You know, when I do my videos, I tell you to squeeze if you think maybe it's sterling silver because sterling is pretty soft. I squeezed, it was really hard, but it had this super cool inscription that I couldn't read. It said 1949. I was like, this has gotta be something, right? And I got it in the car. Well, actually I think I got it home. I got it home, I pulled out my loop, I looked at it and it said sterling silver. So I was pretty excited that that was sterling. Sterling prices aren't super high, but you can always buy it and throw it into something and you know, save it for when sterling prices have gone higher. I always pick up sterling, always, if I see it. And I got this really spectacular looking um, Etro scarf. And it had writing all over it. It's got all this writing on it. As you keep going, it's got writing on the sides. And then you get down to the bottom, way down, way down, way down. And it says Etro. And I, I missed it the first couple of times I looked at it. You couldn't really read the label, the label. Uh, it says it also, but it's in like blue and red. It was impossible to read. Um, and you know, Etro stuff is really great. So I was really excited to get that. It's a beautiful Italian made silk scarf. Just stunning. So I got a ton of stuff. I had a really great week. Um, I hope some of this helps you find some stuff yourself at the thrift stores. I, I usually do not have, excuse me, I think I said I had a really great week. I had a really great month. Plus all the stuff I got at Hilton Head, um, which I did a video on, so make sure you check out my other videos, because I did a video on that. I visited my brother while I was on vacation, and we went to Hilton Head and hit all the thrift stores. And I got some really great stuff there too. I got some beautiful 10 karat gold earrings, so that is also stuff I got this month that I'm not, I didn't want to double up and show it to you twice. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a link here to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a link for another video that shows you um, some of my other hauls. Um, check me out at Craig and Alice and the Modern Den on both Instagram and Etsy. And I really appreciate you, you following me. Hopefully all my videos are going to get much better once I learn how to use that camera. And again, there are going to be affiliate links below in the description if you need any of this stuff to help you for your business. Please make sure you click on that and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.